Every pet parent thinks their fur baby is about the cutest that's ever lived. But you have to admit, even as puppies go, Griffin is off the charts adorable. Was off the charts adorable. He was such a great little young life. The 11 week old Alaskan Klikai, a sort of smaller version of a husky, was loving, outgoing, and like any puppy, excited to explore anything his nose could find and taste anything that didn't get out of the way fast enough including these seemingly harmless mushrooms growing in his family's yard. When you see symptoms, it's too late. Chris Ewing tells us his family's had dogs before, and before bringing Griffin home, they had brushed up on all of the dangerous things to keep him from eating. So when the puppy started throwing up, they assumed he'd gotten a hold of some chocolate. But at the animal hospital, they learned of a danger they'd never even heard of. Mushrooms growing in their yard were a variety called death cat mushrooms. The vet even said even if he had only licked the mushroom, it probably would kill him. That's how deadly they are. Griffin's family took him to UC Davis Vet Center where they used everything within their considerable resources to save the puppy's life. But the mushrooms had done irreparable damage to his liver. Griffin died four days after his family got him. It's just horrible. It's been, you know, around, the Christ around Christmas, it's awful. And, you know, anytime you lose any loved one as part of the family, it uh, c couldn't be any worse. They're now channeling their grief into an awareness campaign, telling neighbors and friends that these deadly mushrooms are potentially all around us, and they can kill people, too. The sheriff's department did say it was a tragic accident. That was a Fox 40 report from 2012 when three Loomis people died after eating a soup made from wild mushrooms suspected to be poisonous. And just this past June, the same type of mushroom poisoned 14 people in San Francisco. Three needed liver transplants, and a toddler was left with permanent neurological damage. Griffin's family hopes these stories and this guy's sweet face lead you to check your yards and spread the word.